hello guys today in this video i'm going to show you that how you can get your php result on the same page in the previous video i had made a program for currency converter in which the result was like this here you can see if i put any amount here for example 5 and if i uh, select here us dollar and convert it into rupees and i click on submit button then you can see that the result has come but the result has come on a new page and my previous page on which the form was available that has gone i want the result not like this but like this in which if i enter my amount for example let's say eight dollars here and if i select it uh, in dollars and if i want to convert it into rupees and if i click on submit button then it should give me the result on the same page not on a different page so how can i do this so for this let's go to the same program which i had made in the previous video here this was uh, the uh, the form which was created and here using the post method i had sent it on currency php.php file which is here so this was my program so if i want to get the result on the same page as i just have shown you in that case what i will do is i will write both the things on the same page and i will save it with the extension .php so let's start making it so i am continuing with the previous videos program which i had created so uh, now here i will create a new file and here with this file again i will save it as here in the same folder that is in the xam folder htdocs and inside htdoc.php folder so here i will create this folder as new currency dot php and i will save it after this i will copy first of all my currency html here th this form which i had created in my previous video so i will copy this whole form from here to this new currency dot php file and here i will copy copy the content of this php so here i will copy it from here from where i had started my php and i will copy from here and paste it after this form here so i have pasted it and now let's see what happens so i will save it now i will go to the browser and here i will write localhost and inside localhost i will click on php folder and here new currency this is the name of the file which i have now and here you can see it has been opened here but you can see these warnings are being shown here these warnings are written here and if i let's say if i take 5 here and uh, let's say uh, us dollar and rupees and submit it after this it is giving me the result but still what is happening that the form is not displayed over it as well as before this these were the some of the warnings which were written so the warnings are undefined key array uh, here also undefined array key here also undefined array key so why these things are here because uh, in here you can see that these options inside those options still the user has not entered anything and if the user has not entered anything that is why here it is not accepting any array and when it is not accepting any array and it will show a warning the array is undefined here also and here also and here also so that is why there are three warnings that the array is undefined because user has not given the value till yet so for this i will do two things here the first thing i will do here is here you can see in the actions i have given the name of this file that is currency php dot php here i will not write anything when inside action i will keep it empty it means that my results will remain on the same page they will not be posted anywhere else so this is the first thing which i will do and the second thing which i will do is here I will write here in the beginning is set so I will write here if is set 
so this is set will do one thing and that is it will first of all see whether the values which are required to be here have been inserted or not if these are inserted then only the result will be shown if these are not inserted then the result will not be shown so i will write here if is set and inside is set i will write here this one dollar underscore post and amount so it will check whether this amount has been inserted by the user or not moreover i also want to check whether this has been inserted and this has been inserted for this i will again write here and means for that i will write a percent a percent is set again same dollar underscore post this first currency i will write it here because i want to check whether this has also been inserted a percent a percent i also want to see yeah, so is set i will copy this and i will paste this one also here and after this i will insert curly brackets here and this whole will be inserted in those curly brackets whatever i have written down there this whole will be inserted inside it so i will cut it from here and i will paste it here so now all these are inside this is set so it means that first of all it will check using this is set whether the user has inserted amount whether he has inserted a first currency whether he has inserted second currency and if he has inserted all these then only it will do this then only it will show the result so let's save it here i will refresh it and now i will enter anything here you can see those warnings are now gone and if i enter here anything for example 8 us dollar and want to convert it into rupees and i'll click on submit here you can see the result you can get on the same page it is not going on a different page and this form is also visible above it now suppose that you don't want this form to be visible when the result is visible so in that case what will you do you will have to do small change in this program and that is this form you will take and you will cut it from here so i am going to cut this form from here and i will put this form here at the end after this i will write here else and i will do the closing of this else here after the form but you can see here that this opening was in php so the closing is not in php so i will write this closing curly bracket inside php like this so now here this is the only thing i will do and what does it mean it means that it will check whether the user has put the amount first currency and second currency if the user has put the uh, put all these three things then it will execute this result if not in that case only it will show the form so now let's save it and here i will refresh here i will now write anything for example 7 us dollar and i want to convert it into rupees i'll click on submit you can see here only the result is visible now and this form is not visible this form will be visible now only if these values are not inserted by the user so the user has inserted those values that is why the else statement will not take place which means that the form will not be visible. I hope you liked my video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.